What up, neighbors? I am back with this uh, braid video. A lot of guys was telling me that my hair was too short to braid. But here I am today at my favorite braiding shop. And I know I'm looking like Don King up there, but that's been to get done, taken care of. And yes, I just came in to give you guys a small clip of me getting my hair braided today and it has actually grown a lot enough for her to actually catch and braid so I'm happy about that but until then we will end this clip and let her get finished braiding okay peace alright y'all she finna braid this right here and y'all see how thin that is, right? I'm trying not to show her face because I don't know if she wants to be on camera. So, let's get this thing popping and see if she can braid this fine hair because y'all, it is fine. But, we'll come back in once this uh, braided a little bit. Let's see. Let's see if she's going to start. I'm trying not to block this camera, y'all, but I'm trying not to show her face for privacy, too. Mm -hmm. So we're going to... We're going to see how she does this. And y'all, I thought when I was coming in here that it was going to be like when I used to get my hair braided, hurt, but she is very light, y'all, she light-handed. I like this kind of braid because it's not pulling my scalp, it's not hurting my head, and knowing that she knowing that, she know that I'm tender-headed, she is actually being gentle to my scalp with these braids and i didn't think that getting braids this tiny or this small would not not hurt get what i'm saying but she's making it see it's not even hurting y'all she's making it where she's guiding guiding the braid or the hair and it's not pulling so i like that part about that that she is respectful of my scalp and my edges y'all so let's see how long this process is gonna take and when she finished i'll probably come back in and show y'all or give you guys a quick look see at how the process is going for later okay so until then i'm gonna say peace What up? What up, my neighbors? I told you guys that uh, once I finished the process of my hair, that I would come back in and give you guys an uh, overview or look-see at my hair. Um, I went back to the same spot that I went to get my hair braided the first time. And this time around, guys... I got my full head braided because, you know, I had a lot of uh, my peers on the job telling me, hey, I think your hair is still too short to braid. They're going to pull your scalp. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. And I'm like, you know what? I want my whole head braided. So, or, or in a protective style. And she went there. I had washed my hair. And I had straightened it out so she could really see the length with it straightened. Um, that week that uh, I straightened my hair out, I went by the shop so she could see how uh, long it had gotten. And she was like, yeah, we can 
catch it. As long as we can catch it, we can braid it. I said, well, I'm going to let you know now. I'm tender-headed. So I need my edges and I need my scalp. She said, <laughs> she said we'll see, we'll see. But y'all, the price of what she charged me because of my extra short hair was ridiculous. But I wanted it done, so I had no choice but to pay it. Because, no, I didn't want to trust um, just um, people that said, hey, I could braid hair or go to a shop. And they was like, I could braid hair. And then I didn't never get it braided because they flaked out on me like the last time. So I said, I'm going to just go to someone I know that's going to be there. Regardless if I have to spend the extra money, it'll look good and it'll last for a while. So... I went back to, and the name of the shop, I don't think I told you guys, it's called Motherland Braiding. Motherland Braiding. They do the, all the African type braids as well as they do uh, sew-ins and um, the crochets, they do that as well. But the prices that they charge, y'all, it's like, dang, from one, I think, uh, they prices start from, the cheapest is 80 to the most expensive which I have seen on their little form is two fifteen. I said, Good Lord, yeah really I'm gonna have to start a half fun. Cause y'all, I paid one sixty for what I got now. And I don't know if y'all can see it that well, but yeah. But I'm gonna take some better pictures so you guys can see it. But I paid one sixty for this hairdo. And because she said it was extra short in the front where they had to take their time and braid it and keep my scalp as well as uh, in the back of my hair um, they did the uh, box braids the little tiny box braids they're not micros they just smaller box braids that they did to align with the braids the are the cornrows that they did put in my hair in the front but I'm liking it and y'all when I tell y'all that she was light handed on my head Oh, and when she got around my edges, I made sure that I told her, hey, keep some edges out. Pull my, pull me some edges out as well as in the back of my neck. Because y'all know when we get these braids and they braiding all tight, they try to grip every piece of hair they can find. And you can't even bend your head, turn your head because the back of your neck is hurting because they done pulled all that hair. Uh -uh. And I said, mm -mm, make a part and leave me some hair. I, I want to bend and turn and everything else. I know they said, boy, this chick is... You know, um, uh, bothersome. But to me, I'm trying to save my hairline as well as my neckline as well as my scalp. And the stuff, I, I took a picture while I was in there. And the stuff that they had in my hair that made my hair look white. Y'all, that was edge control that they put on the, on your hair. And it's uh, white. It's uh, edge control. I thought it was uh, coconut oil, but she said no, it was edge control. And then they put the uh, gel, which is called that shine gel that they braid your hair with. So those are the material. And then in the end, they actually put oils in your scalp or on your hair, as well as the mousse and all that. But yeah. Y'all, I was researching, and before I get my hair done to any shop or whatever style I, I want, and I always been like that, I research and research to see, hey, is it a simpler way to do it? Can I do it myself? Or is it a healthy way to do it? And when I say healthy, y'all know what I'm talking about because a lot of these braid shops braid your scalp so tight, and when you take it out, you have little bumps in your scalp. And I did not want that, or you get sores in your head. Uh -uh -uh. Don't do me like that. But yes, I got it all done, and I'm loving the look, and it's not that tight. So I didn't have to take no Tylenol <laughs> for a headache, and I like that part of it. Um, the only part that is actually tender is I think uh, everybody has a tender spot in their head and mine is right at the top it ain't quite at my crown but it's like right there where that center part at right there that is the most tenderest part of my head or that's my tender spot in my head and that's what any hair do even if I got hair pins in it or, or it's pulled up 
the first part of my head start to hurt and it's that little tender spot or that tender section I got in my head. So I got up this morning and oiled it and it's looking pretty good to me. They put the little uh, um, lock, uh, the braid jewelry in it um, and I liked it that. So I'm loving my new hairdo and I think I as fine and as soft as my hair is. She said, this hairdo, being it is cornrow, it probably will last a good month. But after a month, you're going to see, she told me, you're going to see some frizz. So, you know, but she did try to get me to get the kinky twist because that's what I really wanted. But y'all, I didn't want no hair in my face or on, on my side. I didn't want to be pulling up hair, no styling no hair. I didn't want to do any of that. And y'all, I think that's why um, in a way when my locks got longer and then they got real long I didn't want to be bothered with my locks like that and styling and doing my own hair y'all it was like it was more aggravating than having loose natural hair to me but again the reason I got rid of my locks is that was one of the the cons of my locks that I had to actually get in there and try to do it and keep it up and um, that ain't, um, I ain't want to do that. The second part of that was, it was like bad energy. When I started my locks, I went in that process with negative energy. Get what I'm saying? And I just felt like my locks grew for seven years because, again, like I was telling y'all, my life wasn't where it is now. Where now, I'm at a more peaceful, serene part of my life and I like that 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 less stress or that financial security or that job security you know I'm at that stage in my life now where I'm subtle back when I got my locks y'all I was all over the place I wasn't settled I had drama here family drama there or something was always going on so that was another reason I said my next set of locks that I do get I want those to have good energy and I know people say you can you can wash away bad energy but for me it was like I needed to get that release you know and I don't know if a lot of people understand what I'm talking about but when you don't have so much negativity in your life it's a build-up and when you finally get rid of that build-up it's like a aha moment or that like a burden is gone so with my new hairstyles I'm able to try those new hairstyles or or go back to what I was used to before I was getting locks because y'all even though my hair was longer back before I got locks I always kept it in a protective style or kept it braided or kept it in some type of uh, form where it was out of my face and y'all I don't like hair in my face at all and I know I got a big forehead. A lot of people say, oh, your forehead is not that big. But to me, when I look in the mirror, it's a big forehead. So I was always trying to cover it up. Uh, but now it's like, here I am. Here I go. Forehead and all. You know, like I said before, with my hair cut off, all my features is out there. And I like my features. I'm not embarrassed about my features. But, you know, before I got older and got wiser, you know, you felt self-conscious about parts of your body, about parts of your face, or this part didn't go like you wanted, or it don't look the way that you want it. And with me, I know my two things on my face was my lips and my forehead, because those was the biggest things on my face, and it stuck out the most. So, you know, with me, I try to dull my lips down, I try to cover the forehead, but now that I'm older and wiser and out of that space of caring about what people think about me, it's like, you know what? If I want to be bold and wear the boldest blackest, reddest, purplest, greenish lipstick I can find, these are my lips. I like my lips. Or this is my forehead. If it's shiny, if it's dull, I'm going I'm to let it stick out there. I'm comfortable with the skin I'm in, put it that way. I have gotten comfortable with my features. I have gotten comfortable with how I look. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like, 
nowhere to go but up. Confidence is on 110, y'all. So, <laughs> that's just how I am. So. But yes, I am on my way to my favorite store because you know every weekend they have a good sale. And it's a good way to stock up on a lot of my fragrances or my house fragrances. Yes, I am going to Bath and Body Works again. Because yes, they have good sales. And when I say sales, stuff that's costing me like what? $24.99 for a candle or $34.99 for a candle. I could get them for $6.50 or $5.50 or get at what? enough of them and get 10 or 20 dollars off of them and i like that so yes my house is always smelling fresh and i could get some wallflowers because they are actually on sale as well so and i think i'm i'm veering away from uh bath and body works candles because i done got hooked on these wallflowers i like the fact that you know i ain't got to set nothing to fire burn nothing to, because once you burn a candle and you burn and burn, the scent eventually leaves. And you left with a candle that smells like smoke or fire when you light it. I don't want that. So, the wallflowers are doing me pretty decent. And I like those. So, yes, I'm going to stock up on maybe a couple small candles. And some wallflowers. And if I see something there that is uh, on sale, such as my body oils or my sprays, I might pick up a couple of those too and i know i don't never do a, a bath and body works uh haul because a lot of people do it and everybody love bath and body works so you know what they got you know what's on sale so it ain't no need to do a haul not for me anyway and as far as me um over there on that side of town i need to go in old navy and see if they got some curvy uh, curvy jeans on sale because I, I finally figured out what type of jean that I look good in from Old Navy because I, I told you guys Old Navy ain't for everybody but you have to shop and you have to uh, go in there and you have to try on stuff and me I'm the type of person that if I see something if I like it I'm gonna pick it up I don't want to try it on. Get what I'm saying? Not in the store. I don't want to try it on and I bring it home and I try it on. Then it don't look right and I got to bring it back. But I finally found a pair of jeans that fits me and fit my body shape. And one of the uh, older ladies that work at Old Navy, she, she said, listen, you have to... Um, you have to find somebody that's uh, that know what your body shape is, and she explained all this stuff. And she said, "And I can help you with that." So she was picking up. She she did measurements, y'all, of my body, of uh, my size. Um, and then she pulled jeans off the shelf, and she was like, "Well, try these on. Just take the time to try them on and see how they look." You know what I'm saying? So I guess that's another thing that I want to get out of trying clothes at the store instead of bringing them home and trying them on and then seeing that I don't like them and trying to figure out what is my size and you guys know that I've been exercising a lot and I know I haven't talked about exercising a lot it's been a little cold so I haven't been outside running like I wanted to but I, I have been on the treadmill and my bike and as you guys know I'm top heavy and when I said top heavy, meaning that my shoulders, my neck, and my uh, upper parts is uh, much larger than my bottom part. So that's a strain too for us women because it's like we're not a medium all over. Even though I'm, I may wear medium sized pants, my top may be large to accommodate those larger parts of my body up top, if you know what I mean. Okay. So. Um, some of the largest that I do pick up, it's just too big. And it's like I'm in that in-between stage. I know that I lift weights. So I know my shoulders and my neck uh, area is thicker than coming down to my 
uh, waist size because my waist is much smaller than my shoulders and my neck and my bust. So, whew, that's hard to do too because you got to accommodate for that comfortable up top and then sliding down it looked like oh good lord she looked like a ragamuffin because the, the bottom part of it is way too big and that's basically where I'm stuck at up top so I gotta actually find some tops and get a uh, size for the appropriate size top for me with these mixed up body parts that I have okay so with that I am headed out and while I'm over there, yes, I am going to do some shopping. I want to go to Michael's. I want to go to Ross. I want to go to Marshall's. I want to just hit up all of y'all. Because <laughs> I left my husband home. And if y'all remember my uh, bedroom tour, I have ordered another Tiffany fan to go in my living room. The Bling Dot fan. Because I have the Tiffany lights that's in my living room up top on the ceiling. The little glow uh, diamond balls that I have up there and I thought that light would be the perfect light to fit between those two lights because guess what y'all it's the same ball effect with the globes that I have up there so I thought that would maybe pretty cool, cool to put up there so while I'm shopping he's putting up two fans one in my craft room getting rid of that white one that's in there and putting up a black one and then in my living room so I could bring my living room and make it cohesive with the lights anyway and the fan that I want to put up there because it's a fan light mixture alright now you gonna let me over here Ooh, here we go right here so hopefully when I get back from shopping and yes, y'all, I left because I didn't want to be his lackey. Because if I'm home, he's going to be like, hey, babe, can you hand me this? Hey, babe, can you hold this? Hey, babe, can I use your tiny fingers to twist this little nut boat right here? But I ain't got time for that. I fulfilled my obligation before I left the house. So, therefore, he needed to fulfill his. Because he said the only way he was going to put up my fan, y'all, my fans, if I cook breakfast this morning. <laughs> So he pretty much said, okay, I'm a blackmail you to cook, and then I'll put up a fan. And I said, I ain't cooking. I don't feel like cooking. He said, well, I don't feel like putting up no fan, but I'm going to go out here and wash my truck off. I was like, come on, how you going to wash your truck and not put up a fan? He said, because you don't want to cook. You cook. All you got to do, babe, is cook. I was like, man. So I had to break down and cook because I really want my fan up my fans because they've been sitting there for the last two months seem like y'all I done had them fans for him and he just ain't made it around to putting them up and now he gonna blackmail me to put up something that he live into you know that just cruel okay buddy get it on out there man dang but yes, that is all that is going on. And I do have a couple videos that I need to put up. So if y'all get videos back to back to back, y'all, I started with my lunchtime shenanigans. And and that was uh, the beginning or the top of the week. And this is at the end of the week, which is Saturday. So I said, okay, I can do that. I can do that. And then I had a special special visitor my two nephews came yesterday to spend the day with me and then my y'all I became a great auntie I'm young y'all I became a great auntie for the first time my nephew had a way well, his girlfriend had a baby and y'all I got a chance to see the baby he is so cute but they stay in Nashville so they drove all the way down here to the ATL and I'm talking about it was like a full house y'all everybody I'm talking about all my family members came out to see this baby because um being that I already done told y'all I don't have any grandkids my brother is a granddaddy and it was like shocking because you know uh, my child is the oldest grandbaby and she would I don't want to tell her age she might not like that but my baby is 
it's the oldest grandchild out of the house, or out of our family anyway. And I'm not a grandmama yet, and he is, and it's like shocking. And then I got another brother that's younger than me, finna be a granddaddy too. And it's like, dang! So I'm finna be a great aunt for a second time, hopefully in April or May. So that's one of the reasons I'm always going up here in this little mall area to shop because I'm picking up like little baby stuff for both my niece both my niece and my nephew babies and he had a little boy so she was told she was having a little boy as well and we don't have that many females in the family because good lord after my baby it's only two other girls in the family that's no 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 let me take that back let me take that back yeah i guess we got a mixture but it's more boys than it is girls so i had to think about that yeah it is really is all these knuckleheads in the family and yes well y'all that is what's been happening with me and i'm trying to get out here in this traffic so see trying to speed up. I'm trying to get out here in this traffic. But that is it. I am making it to the shops now. So I, oops, let me catch this light, y'all. <laughs> Woo! I'm going to get stopped one day from running these darn yellow lights, y'all. <laughs> but thank God it ain't today. Okay, but yes, again, I will come back in when I finish shopping, and I will let y'all know what I found, and after that, that will be the end of this video, after the fact that I done came out of from shopping and spending up money and finding stuff on bargains, because y'all know I'm not going to shop. If it ain't no bargain, my sister love the bargain shop. So, if it don't, if it's not on sale, it's gonna stay there. And if it's on sale and it don't seem like a sale, it's still gonna stay there. A sale is something like fifty to sixty to seventy percent off. That's a sale to me. That's a bargain to me. Okay. Again, y'all, I will holler at y'all when I come back. And I might do a haul, and I might not. So don't hold me to it. And as the church people say, charge it to the head and not the heart. And here go the popo. Woo! Let me, let me, let me slow down. So, again, I will see y'all when I see y'all, okay? Peace! Hey, neighbors. I am back, and I am headed home. Y'all, I ain't even gonna lie. I did real good. They having these uh, end of season sales and y'all, they are nice. So I racked up on a lot of stuff. And no, I didn't try on none of this stuff, so I may have to bring it back. Yeah, but that's just me. Um, not trying stuff on, knowing I gotta bring it back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, because I'm sliding in, regardless. Okay. Um, yes, I went into Bath and Body Works. I got a a few few things from them. Um, a lot of the scents, y'all, I already have, like the sprays, the uh, lotions. And with my sensitive palate, it's only so many of those things that I can smell or take. As far as the candles, the candles was a good bargain because you literally get two candles and each candle is going to cost you $24.99, but by the time your sales come, you're only paying $10 per candle. And those are those candles that's $24.99 or $30. So, um, hmm, that was pretty good. They still have my my favorite which is the wallflower they still have them on sale five for 23 so i racked up on like a 10 of those i got 10 of those and then i got the wall plugins the wallflower plugins ah uh, that's what kill your pocket because they're so pretty 
and the ones that I actually wanted was like $18.99 or $18.50, I think. And then you got the ones that's for $14, $16, you know, but uh, but they are so pretty, so I had to get like three of those. So and then with your coupons that I got, you know, I I didn't really pay what I expected to pay. But it wasn't too much that was uh heavy on the pocket either. So so I think I did pretty good in uh, Bath and Body Works. And then I went to Old Navy and a lot of their shirts are t-shirts. Y'all know Old Navy love them t-shirts. They on sale for like $3. Uh, they had certain pants on sale. But I think it's um, called a Pixie. The Pixies was on sale. But y'all know them Pixies don't fit me. They don't fit my body right. And they ankle pants those the hot water pants uh, uh, I don't like that I'm already short y'all so I need some pants that's gonna come all the way down I don't need nothing cutting me off shorter than what I am okay and they had a pretty good little stuff on sale but it wasn't to my liking okay and let me see I went to Rainbow and Rainbow trying to step up their game, you know. And they had a couple things up in there, but mm, I wasn't willing to pay the price for them, so mm, I went. Oops, y'all. We got the popo sitting up here waiting, doing these. Uh, is you coming out? Come on, is you coming? Okay, then. Okay, I guess he's trying to catch this. Oh, dang, that go one right there. Why they pulling people over over here, y'all? They shooting radar today over here in uh, McDonald's and, and uh, Eagles Landing. So if y'all in that area, be careful. They pulling radars on you. But anywho, getting back to what I was saying, my shopping experience went pretty well it wasn't too taxing on my pocket because i got a lot of bargains and as y'all know i am a bargain shopper i went into ross i went into marshall's i even went into target and target y'all man that store stay full over there in uh, mcdonald's i'm like man come on Woo. it just seemed like it was black friday over there <laughs> black friday shop i said no Cause I was going in there to look at some baby stuff, but man, it was so crowded in there. I was like, uh, I just, uh, I check it out another time. I go up in there before she have the baby, but I check it out another time. But that's what I was going in the Target for. Uh, as far as Ross and Marshall, they had some pretty good little baby stuff up in there, but you know, I did pick up a couple of outfits. That's just outfits. I wanted to get a big ticket item for, such as like um, I saw um, she's she wanting this bassinet, and so I said if I can uh, contribute to the bassinet or get her the bassinet that she wanted. And this bassinet, y'all, it's in Target. She said, Auntie, you can either go to Target or you can go to Baby R Us. Baby R Russ is worse than Target. Man. And y'all know I don't like people like that. I don't like crowded crowd people like that, y'all. I like to shop and shop in peace where nobody is bumping into me, excuse me, hitting me, excuse me, looking at me funny, excuse me. You know, mm -mm, I don't play like that. So, I go shopping at odd times. Except for the day because when I went into Route 21, Y'all, it was pretty much empty because the crowds had done went in and came out. So I I looked like I wanted to look and I shopped till I got tired of shopping. And still, it wasn't a lot of uh, traffic in and out of Route 21. So I was like, okay. All right. But all in all, I had a good shopping experience. Mm -hmm. But got a lot of things because y'all know I usually shop y'all don't know but I'm gonna tell you I usually shop for my winter things and my fall stuff 
when they put everything on clearance when spring and uh, summer is coming in, you know they mark down all their fall clothing items. That's when I rack up, okay? Which I did rack up. I ain't gonna lie, I racked up on fall and winter attire, so. And a lot of the fall stuff you can actually wear for spring. So that works out pretty good. And then when spring, uh, when they do, when spring is uh, coming in and you shopping for your fall stuff or your winter stuff, and that's vice versa when uh, spring uh, spring go out and fall come in, I'm shopping for my end of the year summer and spring things when fall come in and vice versa. So I always have an overflow of what I actually need. So during those months and those uh, that three month period of winter, spring, fall, and winter, I don't have to really go shopping for many things or a lot of things because I already done got it. That was on clearance from the last year. And I always have shopped that way. So I don't know if anybody else shopped the way that I do. Shop off season as I call it. That's what you call shopping off season, y'all. Or shopping out of season. Okay? So with that and that is the end of my shopping trip on my chit chat vlog oh y'all he <laughs> i wish y'all could see this what i'm looking at he got a pittsburgh still a roaster you know them little um them little vehicles that look like motorcycles on three wheels oh, and it's just pittsburgh still a diner my husband saw that he'll be like babe that's what i need in my life right there because regardless of how his team do or what they do, he is a diehard still a fan. So, anyway, if you saw his room, y'all already know he's a diehard still a fan. Win or lose, that's his team. But anyway, that is the end of my shopping and vlogging and chit-chatting with you guys. So, just expect to see some updated pictures of my hair at the end of the video and if I decide to put up a couple of the, the clothing pieces that I bought I may do a I ain't even gonna say I may do a haul y'all because I'll be wanting to do a haul but I'm just too lazy I ain't even gonna lie I don't really want to try on all this stuff you know I'm just too lazy to do a haul put it that way but if I choose to do one, I will. But if I don't, like I said, charge it to the head and not the heart. But, um, I'm going to end this video right now while I am headed home. And hopefully my honey done finish with this fan. Okay. But that is that. So, as always, if I have any newcomers coming to my channel for the first time and you enjoy me chit-chatting and talking and you enjoy what I put up here on this uh, vlog, please hit the subscribe button, share the video, leave me a comment, hit the bell button so when I do upload a video, you'll be the first one to see and comment. Also, again, y'all, share the video and I would appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel, okay? And for my old neighbors and my new neighbors thank you guys thank you thank you thank you for supporting the channel thank you for supporting me thank you for helping me trying to grow my channel thank you thank you thank you i appreciate it to the fullest but please continue to subscribe continue to thumbs the video up like the video share the video comment on the video and hit the bell button okay and also make sure you tell your old neighbors about your new neighbor that's me okay make sure you tell them hey y'all check out my new neighbor okay and with that i'm gonna say Y'all stay blessed, stay faithful, and stay hopeful. And with that, I am going to say peace.